That was a nail biter. But the Eagles got it done. Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. What is going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Um, well, it looks like the Eagles are 9-1 and one, back in the win column finally. Uh, do you call this a statement win? I call it mostly a resilient win. Um, and the team kept fighting back. I'd have to say the defense kept fighting back because the offense, I don't know what's going on with this offense going forward, but I got to say, uh, it, it, it was hard to watch. It really was. Like I figured they were, you know, they were pissed off about that loss to Washington. They were coming out with a vengeance against the Colts, and man, I mean, you didn't score a, a touchdown until, what, the, the fourth quarter? I mean, you, I mean, it, it's just it's just mind-boggling sometimes the way this offense works, not only um, the penalties that you inflicted on yourself. I mean, how many times we get to the other side of the field, penalties. We were on their 25, what, on their 26, 28-yard line, and we get penalty after penalty after penalty. We move back pretty much all the way until our 45-yard until our line, on the back to the other side where we came from. It's, you know, Dallas Goddard's not playing in this game. And, you know, Tyree Jackson hasn't played since last year. Calcaterra hasn't played since one snap, one catch in the week three win against Washington in the first matchup. And third and two, Calcaterra, uh, Calcaterra penalty. Tyree Jackson penalty. Dickerson penalty. Kelsey, bad snap. Kelsey, upfield. Dicker I mean, it, it, it was just nonstop. It was totally nonstop. Uh, what what are they doing with Miles Sanders? Miles Sanders, uh, yet again, they treated Miles Sanders the same way last week. Okay, Bear, pass happy first half. Used Miles Sanders. He was five for nineteen in the first half. Last week he had six yards in the first half. The Texans game he had sixteen yards in the first half. Like what is? What is the problem with with using Miles Sand? Are you just trying to save him for the second half? Like, is that how they're thinking of it? Like, this man should have so much more yards every single week, man. They didn't give him the ball until the end of the third quarter going into the second half. They did the same thing last week. End of the third quarter, he didn't get the ball until then. It's literally shotgun handoff, shotgun, shotgun pass, shotgun pass. I mean, there there was no diverse play calling. It, it was vanilla. It was, uh, I mean, the defensive line, we were getting, you know, there was getting pressure on us. Uh, you know, Gakwe was another guy that just kept, you know, waiting for the exchange, getting in Hurts' face, and Hurts escaped pressure a good amount of times. Hurts had a good game. From what was given to him, he had a good game, okay, I mean, what do you have, like 87 rushing yards for the day? He had to use his legs for this game. Unfortunately, he had to. There was no choice. We, we had to try to make something happen to keep the, keep the chains moving because, you know, uh, A.J. Brown, you know, fumbled the ball later, you know, at the end of the game, you know, which we could have pretty much got the lead. And, you know, a lot, a lot of things happened. Quez Watkins kind of, you know, uh, you know uh, avenged himself from last week and got a touchdown, which was fantastic. Um, the Eagles had three points until the fourth quarter. I mean, they, they were struggling. They were struggling. Um, this defense, though, man, I, I have to give credit. Um, I was looking for this defense to make some really good, you know, uh, to, to really make some plays. And I got to say, Linval Joseph and Adamic and Sue were two immediate impacts in this game. The first snap of the game, Lin Linval Joseph, holy crap, Linval Joseph is a block-shedding machine. Just, just wait until you get Jordan Davis back. Another play, Sue and, Sue and Linval Joseph on the tackle together, all alone. That interior really helped. Not only just to clog up the hole, but it made plays for other players. But not just that, though. The Eagles actually blitzed, and I try to count it. I have to go back and count it because there, there's probably more. It was over three times. They blitzed over three times in this game. And then after Hassan Reddick got his sack, held them to three points, we were down six, and we had to score a touchdown. And the Eagles went upfield. Jalen Hurts using his arm. Jalen Hurts with the rushing touchdown. 
and J- and Jake Elliott with the extra point to get us in front one point. And I and I gotta say, man, the defense really held up. The offense put the defense in really bad positions. I can't put too much on this defense. Besides knowing Jonathan Taylor was gonna get some runs at the beginning of the game, he started getting some runs. I was getting a little nervous later on. They were really doing a good job against the run, doing a fantastic job. Um. And then when the time came at the end of the game where Hurts got the rushing touchdown, we were in the lead. It was up to our defense to make stops. They got pressure after pressure after pressure on Matt Ryan like they should have been doing. Okay, and that was great. That's the type of – and I understand it was probably easy to get a pass rush on that last drive because they know that Matt Ryan has to throw the ball. So they know they had, they're going to pass rush. They don't have to worry about them running the football. Okay, They had to try to make a play. Obviously, penalties helped that. You know, the Colts missed a field goal early in the game. The Eagles made a third and one stop. A third and one stop fumble recovery. It was fantastic. I mean, I couldn't ask for the defense to play any better than they did. I mean, uh, when you... Uh, the offense is supposed to compensate for that, but holy crap, man, what happened to this offense? We looked out of sync. Did something happen? Is there a fight? Is, uh, is there internally something wrong? Like, are they just, are they not practicing enough? Or is it too much rest? Like, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure this whole offense out right now because the play calling, why are you running with Boston Scott up the middle? Why are they using Gainwell and Boston Scott more? Why are they being so pass happy? Uh, what's, I mean, this, this team is supposed to be fundamentally sound. Like when Nick, when Nick Sirianni first got here, we talked about fundamentals. And man, these guys' penalties left and right, it was just, it was never ending. It's, I was so frustrated during that stream. I was just so frustrated watching this game, and I'm just seeing, well, finally, you know, Howie Roseman, you know, passively, and I don't, and look, this is what I got from this game, okay, throughout the week of preparation for this game defensively. I don't think they talked to Nick uh, Jonathan Gannon at all. I don't think they talked to him whatsoever. I think a passive move for Howie Roseman to tell Gannon, look what I just did, you better make it work signing Linval Joseph and Adamic and Sue. I mean, what GM goes out and does that? I mean, really, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know who does that. And then Gannon has to take advantage of the situations. I, I didn't like the coverage from these cornerbacks. Josiah Scott, Avante Max got to come, uh, come back. Or jo- Josiah Scott is just horrible. Slay has, you know, I can't put too much on Slay, but at the same time, you know, there were some instances where he had some good coverage. He just... You know, they caught the ball by a millimeter, inch, you know, away from his hands. I mean, he was right there on some plays, and it just got really annoying. The NFC East is very interesting. I I don't know. The Giants lost against the Lions. I mean, they got killed by the Lions, which I did not expect. Um, The the Cowboys uh, massacred the Vikings. The Vikings coming off a very big emotional overtime win against the Bills, which could have affected their play. And, um, you know, the Cowboys aren't going to play like that every single game. I mean, let's be realistic here. I mean, uh, no one plays consistent in the NFC East like that every single week, besides the Eagles playing it for eight straight weeks. Okay. And, and the Giants did it for a while, too. You know, the, the Washington won today, and, and they, they d- demolished the Texans, and they could be moving into a fit, you know, a sixth seed this year. Who knows? They might be one of the wild card spots this year. So who knows at this point? Since Taylor Heineke is the starting quarterback, and Carson Wentz is done for uh, in Washington. All I want to see was there was, throughout the game, there was fight with this defense. They were chirpy. They were talking a lot of smack. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, they were talking. They were talking a lot. You know, Brandon Graham got a sack. I mean, it, we, I mean, the, the interior was just so good, and that we were just doing so much better against the run. Now all I was kind of worried about was us against the pass because the pressure, you know, was getting there here and there. I mean, Sue was getting pressure today. Sweat, Graham. I mean, they, a lot of these guys were getting pressures. And Sue had five to six sacks last season. I know there's juice left in that tank for Adamic and Sue. There's definitely juice left. But I got to say, Linval Joseph is a block-shedding machine. He is a big boy that lets nothing go by him. Uh, he he is, I mean, what a... Uh, these two guys that we acquired are, 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 I mean, plus Robert Quinn almost had a sack today. It was close. I feel like they still got to rush a little bit better, a little bit more, but how much could I really put on this defense? I mean, they bailed the offense out, but the offense had an opportunity, which they had two opportunities last, last week. 
Obviously, the face mask call was a big one, which uh, could have led to a touchdown. But the Quez Watkins fumble, which he redeemed himself in this game, um, you know, they, they had that one shot and they took advantage of it. And they did it. They threw a, you know, a P.I. call to Devontae Smith, which was great. Devontae Smith, I thought, had a pretty good game. He was getting some catches. They found a little bit of a weakness in one of their corners, and Devontae Smith was uh, was burning him on those comebacks, getting a lot of separation, so that was great. Uh, they, they're just not running the ball enough. It's just you want to take pressure off your quarterback. You don't want to get pass happy, and they've been doing that the past few weeks. I mean, the past three weeks, counting this week, you know, Miles Sanders is is, is less than – five carries in the first half not even that lower than that it's unacceptable I I, I, are they just saving him for the second half so he's not tired like I'm just trying to figure out why they're not running with Miles Sanders and why they're not running I mean it's not not like they they ran with Boston Scott more or Kenneth Gainwell more in the first half you know I mean not by a by a lot of reps they they really didn't but, you know, every single, I feel like it's last year now with this offense. Like, like I feel like we fixed one problem, the problem's fixed, and now we're dealing with coverage issues. We're dealing with this whole entire offense that's, that's not in sync with each other. It's, it's just a, a complete mess when you look at it. You know what I mean? And... I'm look. I and I know people are gonna complain and and say like, oh, you should be happy about. Look, I told you guys the other night on the Philly Shakedown. I told you guys like, I'm. I, look, if they have an ugly win, I'm going to. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to throw shade at this team. If I didn't care about this team, I wouldn't. If I, I if I didn't think they would be, they could be better than this. Uh, trust me. I wouldn't say anything about it. I wouldn't even care. But because I do care, I want them to fix this because the explosiveness from this offense just wasn't there today. In a couple, you know, a couple times they had some explosive plays, but not too much. Second down, you're throwing, you're just throwing it deep to AJ Brown. Like you're you're on their side of the field and you're just throwing it deep to AJ Brown. Like why? Like why? Why on second down are you throwing just throwing a 50-50 ball to AJ Brown? I mean, they want to score so badly. They just want to get something in there. They took their shots, but they took their shots way too much. Get that run game going. You know? It, it kills me to see the offense playing like this. I mean, look at the running backs you got to face the next five, you know, five weeks. You still got to face Saquon Barkley twice. You got Derrick Henry. You got Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon next week. I mean, it's no joke, man. It's no joke. You got some good competition next week every week can't do that against Aaron Rodgers next week he's gonna pick you apart he's gonna pick this team apart Christian Watson's gonna get a lot of catches Lazard's gonna get a lot of catches against this you know and I hope and I hope not I hope not because the 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 run defense was very good the pass defense it it mattered when it mattered it you know wasn't perfect the whole game you know I know Jonathan Taylor was gonna get some runs he was getting some runs beginning of the game but they started to you know vibe a little bit together I mean I'm I'm shocked not even a day at practice in Linval Joseph and Dominican Sue like literally I mean they're vets man like they come in and they do their thing you know what I mean? So I'm I'm glad that they were immediate impacts. That Howie's moves have worked. Howie Roseman has been a hundred percent perfect. D- giving Jonathan Gannon this defense on a silver platter. This defense is so underrated. It could do so. It could do so much more. Like God, this defense could do so much more. But they just don't do it sometimes. But I'm happy what they did defensively. By how the offense played, I got to give a lot of praise to this defense. And not saying I trust Gannon 100%, not saying any of that, but you got time before the playoffs. You got time, okay, before you have to go into a playoff game, and you cannot look like that offensively. You just can't. It looks like they they came off a a, a four-month bye week. You know what I mean? I mean, a four week bye week. You know what I mean? Like, they, it looks like they haven't played in like a couple months. Like, they just they just got the practice, or that's what that's what it looked like. They just weren't in sync at all. Okay, but when those uh, turnovers, the third and one turnover, these other turnovers do matter. Look how it changes the game, giving your offense more opportunity. And Jalen Hurts was like, "I got to get this done. Like, we got to get this done. Got the guys together. We have to get this figured out. Can't look like this. It just can't happen anymore." So, at the end of the day, I think, what, Jalen Hurts had, like, 87 rushing yards. He had a good day. He still had a really good day today. 
okay, from what was given, from what this offense was given to it. I mean, you know, guys don't, you know, he throws the ball, guys catch it. A.J. Brown fumbles the ball, protect the ball. Devontae Smith, just catch the ball and go over the first down marker, move the chain, stop trying to dance and get more yards. These guys, I respect that they're trying to get more yards, but they have to be smarter. That's it, okay? Britton Covey, eh, same crap I see every single week. I think the only time he had, he had like 10 yards on a return, uh, which brought us like the 44 on our 45-yard line, which was good. Other than that, that was like really it. Like a 10-yard punt return is nothing much to brag about, but at least it was some good yards there. So, interested to see enough what the Eagles do this week. I I'm hoping this defensive line gets better. Uh, it's making me feel more comfortable about the run defense with both of those guys inside. And just wait till Jordan Davis comes back. You're going to have some meat. You're going to have meat in between that piece of bread. You're going to have some meat in the sandwich. A lot of meat. Double meat, triple meat. You name it. You're going to have a lot of meat. So, pause. I don't know if that sounded weird. But, um, that's all I really got to say. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this game, what you liked, what you didn't like, what's still a concern. Do you trust Gannon? I want to know what you guys think. And uh, we'll definitely be talking about it again soon because uh, I definitely want to talk more about this game and um, what I've seen. And I'm going to rewatch the game again and, you know, the full game and, and, and see what I missed. Uh, from a streaming standpoint, I can't look at everything because I'm looking at the chat as well. So it's tougher to kind of keep an eye on things. But they blitz more than three times in this game. And that that last that last the defense on that last segment of plays was just fantastic. I love the way they were just getting pressure every single time. I think, like I said, I think it helped that they knew that he was going to throw the ball. Couldn't run the ball anymore. You know, they had a penalty. They backed them up a little bit. So the Eagles made some really good stops. Um, the secondary has to be used a lot better than what it is. That's just me. Secondary just has to be used a lot better. It's, 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 not, uh, it's not working the way I want it to work. As of right now, yes, my f face was frozen for a second. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this game. Um, and really just don't fight with each other over it because at the end of the day, like, we have to respect all of our opinions. Like, we all have different opinions. People hate me because of my opinions, but I really don't care. Um, the offense just – what what happened, man? Like, I don't know why they're still – don't tell me they're saving their cards for the playoffs or they're saving what they're really going to do in the playoffs. You're, you're not trying to lose games right now. You're trying to win games. You're trying to get to the first seed right now. Okay, so obviously the Cowboys win definitely helped the Eagles by a, a, a lot, a landslide. So um, going to be very, very uh, interesting what, what, what we do here. So other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. You have a fantastic night. Shakes what up, Falls Five. Peace out, guys. Peace.